Hi, I'm Ollie and I work at The Hive and we thought you might want to know how to access BorrowBox. BorrowBox is something which you can use to listen to audiobooks or to read ebooks. So first of all, you either go to your Google Play or the App Store. You will search for BorrowBox. Here is BorrowBox, just download it. Once you download it, open it up and you'll be asked to select which library you want to choose. So you can choose Worcester. And then you'll enter in your ID, which will be on the back of your library card and your PIN will be four digits and usually it'll be the day and month of your birthday. Once you've submitted your ID and your PIN, you can read the terms and conditions, scroll to the bottom and click agree. For your registration, you need to add in your email. You can put your display name. By adding your email, you are also received um, updates and reminders when either you've got a loan which is coming in or when you're due to return a book. Once you've logged on to your details and you've accepted the terms and conditions, you'll get a series of 19 steps which you can walk through, which will tell you about tips for BorrowBox. I'll just flick through them quickly to get you to the main page. This is the main page for borrowing on BorrowBox. You can see how many loans you have available, four for audio and four as um, e-books. For example, I've selected on Life of Pi as an ebook and collected it here. It's now in My Loans and you can just click on it and start reading it. When you're done reading, just press down at the bottom and that will take you back to My Loans and you'll bookmark your page and it's all there. So if you want to also look for an e-audio book, you can just select the e-audio books. You can search for a title if you're looking for one in particular. And then in exactly the same way, you can borrow it, but it tells you how long the actual duration of the book is. Just select confirm, and you can listen straight away. If you go into the top, it will also show you downloading each of the chapters, and you can pause once you're done, or change those chapters. And they also have further details on the book. So hopefully that's given you a little introduction to how you can access BorrowBox and you can listen to the books wherever you are. All right, take care.